What is up guys, it is Greg from Team Hybrid BMX. So, the family and I are going over here to Gears and Grub to get dinner first. Say hi Mace. Hello. Hi, hi. say hi Katie. So we're, oh look at that bike. It's a pretty Indian motorcycle. So, this is all of our local vendors coming out with their food and everything for good eats uh, before we go down to Roar on the Shore. Yeah, there's another motorcycle right there, don't touch. There you go. So yeah, we're gonna go here first, get some grubs, and I'll show you guys that, and then we're gonna head down to Roar on the Shore, see some bikes. Later. So Mason, Mason, what kind of pizza did you get? I did just cheese. You getting just cheese? Yes, yes, spicy. We got sticks and bricks pizza. This is a local business. It is amazing. Pizza is so good. It's great. Here's your sprite, honey. One of our local vendors is just wonderful. So, but we're gonna get out of the way so other people can order. So what's up, guys? It's Greg here. So, got this awesome meatball sub sandwich from Saganelli's. Mason's eating his pizza. How is it, dude? How's the pizza? Great. Great. So, yeah, but we're enjoying it. Looking forward to going and seeing the bikes in a little bit. Later. What is up, guys? We are at Roar on the Shore. We're down at the Hub, and uh, it's just insane the amount of bikes that are here. It's just so cool to see this event every year happen in Erie. Uh, if you ever get the chance, middle of July, we usually do this event every year. So, and if you are around the area, come down, have some fun. We'll catch you soon. Bye. What is up guys, it is Greg here from Team Hybrid BMX. So, just got back from Roar on the Shore, gotta get some things ready. Uh, we're having a yard sale tomorrow, so. Um, but I got back and some unfortunate things happened. So, let's see if I can, oh yeah, that's right, I can't turn it around while it's filming, so I'll have to do it in a different clip, but. Um, there's one part of my bike that's gonna be being replaced and the other one I just got home and realized I had a flat, so. Yeah, we're gonna have to fix that. So I'm gonna get to that part of it and yeah. All right, so got a flat in the rear again. I don't know how this keeps happening. I'm gonna check the, I'm gonna do myself a favor. I'm gonna go buy a new tube tonight at Walmart, but I'm gonna check and see if there's anything like on the outside rim or anywhere where it's just pinching it somehow to where it's causing any problems because it just doesn't make sense it's always the back rim it's never the front it's always the back so I mean if you guys know anything about these alienation PBR rims I mean I can't wait to get rid of these things they're total junk and the hubs aren't that great either um, I'm not really proud of them I, they're kind of the mission hub they're not bad but I mean mission components aren't bad at all I, I actually rather enjoy the mission components that I have um, but it's just I don't know it didn't work out uh, the other thing is the Eclat uh, Van Homan signature grips. As you can see, they saw their better day. Um, so I got to get out a screwdriver and I can almost just pull these off almost. But I got to get a flat screw, flathead screwdriver, pop these out. got to pull the old grips off. He's like, look at that, dude. I wore it all the way around. All the way around. That's how, how thin they are. So these are going bye bye. And I went up to. Dick West BMX shop today and I picked up these Merit Charlie Crumlish cross check grips. Um, if you guys have anything to say about these, uh, you know, good, bad, indifferent, let me know. I'm going to try them out and review them and let you guys know what I think. Um, as far as these grips, these Van Homan grips, I can be honest, uh, the lifespan wasn't horrible on them by any means. But I noticed within like the first couple weeks of riding with them, like instant degrading. Like the, the grip started to become like glue to my hands. Like it was like sticky. 
And I, I don't mind grips being a little bit sticky, but, like, these were, like, ridiculously sticky. Like, I would come home, and my hands would be, like, black. Like, that's how, that's how much rubber would come off on my hands. Um, and that was bef well before this stage, where it literally ripped through. And it didn't just do it on the one grip. As you can see, they were kind of stretched anyway. But they did them on the other grip, too. And mind you, I, I mean, I, I, I death grip my bars. I mean, you just got to be honest. I death grip my bars. But even, like, this side, like, look how, like, gnarly that, like, wore out. Like, I know I grabbed my bars pretty good, but that is just insane. Like, it's just all mushied. Like, see how it's all torn and everything? And did on the back side, too, with these ones as well. Like, the integrity of these grips is just not really what I usually expect out of, uh, out of honestly out of duo I, I expect kind of better from duo uh, i really like their brand and i i appreciate something a little bit better than that uh but merit we're gonna give you a try and see how you work uh, i'm just really interested in seeing what you got in store i like the fact that this side is kind of still the plush kind of soft material uh, which is nice on the end to grab i think i think that's where it's supposed to be no that's right the this inside part goes no yes Okay, so here's the, okay, there's the bar, and so it actually, yeah, it goes like this. But it looks to me like it's kind of universal, it's kind of whatever you choose. So I might go like this side in, just because this side looks like it's a little bit more grippy. And I kind of like that more on the inside of my bars, because like, especially when I start learning how to do bar spins, because I tend to grab more inside than outside. So, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. But either way, guys, I'll uh, get back with you with a little update after these are on. The bike for a little bit I'm not gonna do a whole like how to take your grips off and put grips on video because or tube video I already did a tube replace video so I mean if you don't know how to replace a tube by now um, I really don't know what to tell you go back a couple videos you'll see one or look up a video on how to fix a flat tire on a BMX bike um, there's plenty of guys that do it and I'm not doing how to's uh, I'll do a few of them here and there but I'm not doing a bunch of crazy how to's I, I just think that that's kind of useless to you guys i mean some of you it might be helpful but i mean if you guys think of a how-to that you think i can do for you i mean let me know in the comments below um and as always guys i mean i, I want to go over this too before i before i leave um we're on the shore was a lot of fun i enjoyed all the bikes i hope you guys enjoy the content that you see i know it wasn't a whole ton but it was something so i hope you guys enjoyed that little piece before this one um also i hope to be getting some clips here soon uh, maybe after the yard sale tomorrow, I'll go out for a little ride before Katie has to go to work, and I'll do some film work then. Um, but tonight, I've got a lot to do. I've got to get a lot prep prepared to, to get started on um, the yard sale tomorrow. So, um, anyways, uh, I will catch you guys in the next episode. Uh, remember to like, share, subscribe. Check out our Instagram. Um, I'm pretty sure we have a Facebook as well. And uh, obviously check us on here. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Hope you guys are having a great night. Deuces.